What's up guys and welcome back to the Sin and Sass Survival Guide. This will be the start of season two. Uh, sorry this first season was uh, terribly short but uh, we had a really bugged out world and so we had to remake it. I'm Sin. And I'm Sass. And we are standing in front of our new home. Uh, we just literally found this five minutes after spawning in this world. And it's a pretty nice little place. I like how it looks. I want to see what the inside looks like. And that's going to be our new home. We're going to build a fort around it. And this is kind of more of a custom build type thing. And as you can see, I did spawn in my club. But it is not a flawless club. So I'll take the compromise there. We do get some armor. I changed my armor type to scrap iron chest piece. It's not as good and it's poor quality, so definitely not as good as the uh, iron one that I had, but I like the look of the scrap better. So I, I also took that loss. Uh, we looted the backpack over there and found the iron club, but uh, I'm not going to use that. No need. I've got the uh, spike club that's great. It's not flawless. I did spawn in my axe, and I spawned in a wooden bow, and my 12 iron ingot things that I got. Oh, wow. What's it look like in there? Oh, nice. Now, let me check this out. Ooh, hey, look, that's a fireplace with the forge. I guess we don't need to forge a head book. This is actually the newest... One of the newest buildings for uh, Seven Days to Die that came with Alpha 11. Uh, one of the new buildings they added to the Plains biome. It has the little cardboard thing outside. And so on. So yeah, we did have to restart our world, so apologies for that, but we won't have our same little fort that we had before. We couldn't use the same uh, name, but we chose the next best thing. We just put a one after it and came up with this, so I'm pretty happy with it. Ooh, I'm liking the look of this building. Right, and it's got a little porch up there too. We gotta stand on that and see how good it is for a sniping position. I can't get out of it. I'd be able to. Which door leads to the porch? It's not letting me out the door. Hold on. Looks like there's something invisible in the way. Hmm, it's just you. Well, I won't be going on the porch. <laughs> Ooh, look, my bed. Deluxe bed. Wow, this view is amazing. Wow guys, look at this. That's nice. We can see all the way down there because this is a plains biome. This is going to be awesome for spotting invasions. Uh, speaking of which, we got two incoming. Let's see how well my bow skills are here. I did not spawn in my pistol. I don't feel the need to have a pistol again. So uh, I'm going to work with the bow again for a little bit. You know, my melee weapon's my melee weapon. That's all good there. And it's not as good as what I had, so no worries there. It's, it's perfectly fine, and then everything else we're just gonna get again. Yeah, I really can't hit these guys from a distance at all. You got him? Yeah, this is nice looking. What rug is this? That's a pretty nice looking rug. I don't think I've ever actually seen a rug like that in this game. Is that new? I think that rug's new. I guess I got a new rug texture. That's pretty cool. The only thing that sucks is we have no trees. Yeah, there's some in the distance there. And they're not too far. I'll have to grow some. 
Uh, now is there rocks? That's the question. Oh, that's venison stew. I don't want venison stew. You can stay in the fridge. We did not put that there. As you guys can see, I just literally looted that. You're in the fridge. Yeah, I'm putting all the other food in there. That's what I was gonna do. Right? We need a new door on the back. Um, I uh, kinda broke it. Okay, we need a door on both. Yeah. It was locked anyhow, so... Wait, there's a back? Is it through here? No, upstairs, there's a back door. Oh, oh that's a toilet. <laughs> yeah, that's a toilet. Yeah, yeah. Do you need me to make you a sleeping bag? Yeah, if you would. We can't use okay. that uh, white bed up there <laughs> as a spawn point, sadly. Oh, oh wait, I got one. Alright, well, I'm gonna go get some trees. Uh, well, come get your sleeping bag first so you can put it down. Alright. I'm not sure why that damaged me, but okay. Alright, thank you. Stick this right next to the uh, master bedroom here. If I can. Eh, looks like this guy had to be good enough. Alright, so now I'm gonna go and get some, uh, trees. And, uh, restart this and have some fun with this. I actually like this zone a lot better than where we were, because where we were, that was zombies every second of every day there. might actually uh, balance things out a little more. Oh, also we uh, dropped the uh, loot spawn rate down to 75% because we don't really need that good of loot right away because that was a lot of really good loot and it was actually too much. And so hopefully this balances out the game a little more and makes it more of a challenge and less of a instantly OP mode. <sighs> okay dude, I know you're tired, I know, I know, okay. It's all good. We gotta do this and we gotta find some rocks to get a shovel so we can dig up clay to make an iron forge stuff. Iron ingots because I have the S12 iron ore that I mined up in the last episode and I felt I needed to get those back because they're important I had to go let the dogs out who let the dogs out? <laughs> woof 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 right Oh, don't mind me, zombie. I'm just, uh, gathering rocks here. Guess he is mining me. Well, I guess, I guess we gotta show him what a, uh, what our, uh, club is like. Very punny. <laughs> he wanted to be invited to the club. What's up?
Yeah, she's over there looting stuff as well. I see you trying to kill that bunny. I got it! I bet you did. Perfect. Three nests in a row over here. On 75% loot, no less. It's crazy. So those plants there are actually technically trees. Here's a woman beater. Kill him. So yeah, today basically all we're gonna be doing is uh, just kind of rebuilding our base a little bit. We restarted our world so we're in a new area new zone and a lot of different things we gotta get back we lost a lot of good loot we had all the magnum parts and all that but uh, it's a little unfair to respawn them when we're level ones but I'm like level four now she's like level six or so <laughs> but uh, so on and we'll get it all back it's all good And we got some wood. I am level four. Nah, you say the same as me then. Okay, so that's sixteen logs. I'm gonna go ahead and make them into come on wood planks. Also, guys, I'm not gonna be using spikes because I don't want that same glitch to happen again. So we won't be remaking the spikes. I will show you guys how they're made, but uh, I'm not going to actually make them. Stick so I can make a uh, stone shovel. I'm making a door. Actually, two of them. That's what I was gathering the logs for. <laughs> Too late, beach to it. Yeah, bunny food. I caught a rabbit too. Nice. Yep. It's nothing like uh, clubbing with the rabbit. And for those of you who did not catch what I said before about the uh, cobblestone frame, it's a lot easier. Just go with this and you don't even have to worry about cutting down trees, just break the bushes. And since ours is actually a cobblestone building now, we're going to have our outer walls as actual cobblestone. So it should look pretty cool and it should match a little better. Yeah, so those frames are actually just as durable as the wooden frames. Although the hardness of this is only one, and the uh, wood frames is six, or four, I think. But uh, either way, they both have about the same durability overall. And the uh, cobblestone frames are easy to make. Much easier to make. Let's get our stone shovel back. Get that made up and dig some of this clay. Oops. Okay, we need about three of these and we should be good. It's pretty cool that we found this place because there's like clay right next to it. This is uh, yeah. 
I guess I have a shortage of trees and I want to build a fence around this place, so I'll have to go to the forest biome next door and get trees. Uh, well, once we go over there and start cutting down some uh, trees, we'll get the seeds and we can plant them over here when you make a farm. True. Yeah, we, we lost our farm, so we'll have to remake that. We do not have our seeds back, but we can find corn in this uh, biome pretty easily, I think. Should be easy enough. But uh, yeah, we'll get our stuff back and we'll get things going. And the, the outer fence will now be cobblestone because it kind of matches this stone that's on the front door here. Yeah, a cooking pot already too from that uh, camp that I raided on the way to here. Yeah, she found it, uh, a little campsite. Yeah, if you make a campfire, you need to make it in this corner over here, where it's completely out of the way so we're not running into it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit of a shortage of rocks around, but we'll make do. We always do. Alright, so that give us 27 lumps of clay. I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to start this forge up, and that's going to be it for this episode. That's how you make your iron ingot mold. And you get the iron ingot. Also, sand is pretty rare, guys, so if you pass up a uh, desert biome, probably not a good idea. Let's go ahead and break that down into scraps. I think I found a pistol barrel too, yeah, I sure did. This forge is actually put here by the uh, devs, which is pretty cool. I mean, they actually give us an area that already has a forge, but it's it's pretty hard to find for the most part, but, you know. Alright, so that would give us 72, which is roughly to like 10 or more. I don't know, it's like 13. Or 14 ingots, something like that. I'm gonna have to put a lot more logs in there. Hopefully our forge isn't as buggy as it was last time either. should do it and that should give us plenty of iron to make all the stuff we need I oh, didn't put the chest on the uh, table ah Makes sense. So I put them underneath of it. I like that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to put the uh, basic building materials in the... Uh, did you repair that other door? Alright, so... I already fixed it. Okay, so building materials are in the um, one that's under the table. I'm gonna actually throw down this claim block too, just to increase the durability of our building. Although I think that's only for PvP, but I don't know. Either way, I'm doing it. I'm throwing in some sticks there too if you want to use them. I got storage chests coming up, building up upstairs. Alright. The one closest to the bathroom door there, right in front of it rather, is going to be uh, 
medical supply. And this other one can be armor and stuff. I'll go ahead and throw that weapon in there too. And the pistol barrel. Until we make ourselves a gun safe. Alright, go put those down here. And I think we're good. So uh, yeah guys, this is our new home. Uh, this is now season 2. And Alpha 11.2, 7 Days to Die, I'm Sin. And I'm Sass. And we will see you guys next time with part 12. So yeah, enjoy. And as always, keep sinful, keep alive, keep watching. See you when you see ya. See ya.